and uh, it's not only Dubai that is making money Abu Dhabi toll gate which I spoke to you before which I taken the survey remember the nice little survey and with all of you putting your comments um, so yes you'll be paying uh, toll congratulations good news you'll be paying toll to contribute to UAE so it seems that they will reduce the traffic which doesn't make any fucking sense because Dubai is so fucking hot that if you walk for even 30 seconds you start sweating like a pig so how will you reduce traffic well if you don't go in your car you need to have a bus but the buses only travel straight only on the main road if you want to instead of going straight if you want to go to the left or to the right to a villa that is one kilometer away from the main road so you get down from the bus and what do you do dance fly no, you have to take a cab and there you have to spend even more money than you spend on having your own car. And then there are no uh, developed rails. There's no developed, uh, you know, you can't even cycle because it's so fucking hot. So what the fuck do you do? So this is all fucking bullshit that is going to reduce traffic. In fact, if you check during peak hours on the Salik gates, where the Salik gate is there, traffic is bumper to bumper. So... They are busy making fucking money. Ah, got cold, sorry. They're busy making fucking money, telling you fucking rubbish. Remember when the Salik came out in Dubai? First they said, we'll only have two Salik gates. Then it became four Salik gates. Then they said, you only pay four dirhams, you travel. And when it becomes 24 dirhams, you stop. Then after that, they said, no, not 24 dirhams. You travel... Uh, Unending number of times you have to pay never ending amount of charges. Then they increase the Salik gates to you know, 10 places or 12 places or whatever. So every time they're increasing the expenses even more and they're giving you fucking bullshit that it reduces traffic, that it reduces, uh, encourages people to travel through alternate modes which are non existent. They just keep increasing number of toll gates, they increase, keep increasing number of charges. And traffic has actually fucking increased. How is it fucking decreased? Which I never seem to fucking understand. In fact, I want to ask you a question. Has traffic actually decreased? Do you feel traffic has decreased? Do you think there's any benefit of having Salik? Has it benefited you in any way? Have you managed to go faster to your destination? Or is this all fucking bullshit that they're giving you? Which I personally feel is bullshit. Let me know in the comments. And also, one more thing. This Abu Dhabi toll gate that is coming. You can't pay from your Dubai this thing. You need to have a separate... Uh, account and so that you'll be paying in Dubai then you'll be paying in Abu Dhabi and guess what very soon they will have in Saja they'll have in Russell Cayman they'll have in Ajwan they'll have all over the UAE so you'll have Salik Malik Palik Bulik you know click and lick lick my dick that's what you will have so uh, this is uh, the story of UAE with all the bullshit that they give you traffic is not going to reduce and you're just going to spend more money. So if you think I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section below. And if you think I'm right, let me know. I'm very interested to know your views. Is this Salik lick my dick? Is this actually working? Okay. <laughs>